Hello, people. Uh, yeah, I, I promised a video by the end of this week, and, well, uh, yeah, uh, here's the thing. Uh, today is my birthday, so I am going to be doing this calm while very, very drunk. But, yeah, I, I figured it was about time to bring back the World of Warships one year ago thing. The first video was a collection of three clips, a Leander, a Fubuki, and an Anshan. This, however, is a battle that dates back to March of 2017 with the German Tier 5 destroyer, the T-22. Now, the T-22 was a ship that I didn't really, you know, love, but I didn't really hate either. It was just kind of a middling destroyer. It, it did have kind of this uh, nifty thing where you could actually, you know, have all, like, all the guns could rotate a full 360 degrees. The gun barrels could point almost vertically, so they could rotate you know, entirely around. I mean, obviously the firing arcs weren't 360 degrees, but the rotation was. So you can just switch straight from uh, pointing the guns uh, forward, you know, to port to, you know, pointing the guns forward to starboard and just go like straight back and forth, back and forth without really any issue with these things. The torpedoes are also decent, you know, their range is decent. They So you can stealth torp with this little boat. But the problem is that this ship, you know, it's a German destroyer, so it only has the 60 second smoke, or, you know, near as damn it, 60 seconds. And the guns and torpedoes really don't hit too hard. I mean, th that torpedo hit a Kuma on only a couple thousand health. But, so yeah, that doesn't really count. But yeah, the, uh, the guns and torpedoes aren't really terribly damaging. And. This is a tier 5 destroyer. It does not get access to the German hydroacoustic search consumables that you see from tier 6 onwards. And frankly, this is kind of, you know, uh, reflective of really what I think of the German destroyer line as a whole. It's not something I, you know, think is uh, terribly great. It, it's, not, it's not bad, but it's just... Uh, you know, they're, they're alright, I suppose. Not my favorite things in the world, but they're not terrible ships. But, yes, they're, they're, they're skill number two. Uh, the reason why I actually bothered to save this replay, you know, you know, among any other, you know, as opposed to any other replays, was that, uh, you know, so, some kind of random stuff happens. Like, it kind of get very, very lucky with RNG as well as actually managing to rack up a, a lot of kills throughout this game. And yes, here is uh, the crappy short duration smoke. <laughs> and yeah, stick a torpedo into the island, yeah, good job. So these torpedoes, I believe, have a 7.5 kilometer range, which is it's decent for stealth torping, but of course the damage is meddling. I'm gonna shoot at this Koenig here and just just try and drive them away but yes uh, the t22 I haven't really played this thing in a uh, in a while Th this was back when I was actively actively grinding the ship and hadn't really done a whole lot you know pa you know, past this so like, like at, th at this point right now I actually only have the uh, the gade in port I mean the gade is completely finished but I still have yet to just go and buy the uh, the Liebrich to Moss, the, the Z1. Just because, you know, I have other stuff I want to grind. So, I managed to tag that, uh, that Koenig on the, uh, on the ass of the ship with the torpedo. You know, good hit, I suppose. And now I'm just sitting in my smoke and I'm going to fix for a shot on this very slow move in New York. I'm actually within manual detection range of him, but... Clearly, th this player wasn't really the most gifted of the people I run I've ever ran into. It's it's not that surprising when you're dealing with tier five shit. 
I mean, a lot of these like really old replays that I've saved are actually kind of seal clubbing uh, videos. And though the next one, like I'm not gonna be able to, yeah. See, and also here's here's what I mean by uh, RNG is on my side this battle detonation with the uh, just you know one or two torpedo hits on that New York. Yeah, that, that that's one of the reasons why I saved this. Uh, like three torpedo hits from a T22 would not be enough to sink New York, even on like two thirds health like he was. So, yeah, detonation. Obviously, back back when uh, this replay was made, the detonation mechanic had not been adjusted to where a ship that's above three quarters health could not get detonated. I'm not entirely sure on whether or or not that guy was actually above three quarters, although I actually wasn't paying too much attention. But you know, that that's that's actually kind of a good change. So I see this Podvoisky has gotten on the opposite side of you know my ship's front line so i'm just heading on over to try and engage him the t-22 is it's not the stealthiest ship in the world but it is stealthier than a pod voice so i'm i'm clearly able to see him coming though he was actually firing his guns earlier but you know believe that uh, at some point or another he actually goes undetected so He's still lit up. I'm just sneaking up on him, and I'm uh, about to open fire on him now, right as I get spotted myself. So we're gonna have ourselves a nice little gun duel here. I'm I'm on half health after taking uh, some punishment while securing C here on the, on the straight map. Uh, straight map, by the way, th this is one of its older uh, interpretations. Again, year old replay, so you don't have those. Uh, <laughs> you see. Uh, yeah, a second detonation uh, in the same game. I've detonated two enemies so far here, and uh, that's four kills. So, yeah, again, no small wonder why I decided to save this replay, you know, as opposed to any other replay that I could have potentially gotten in the T-22 or really anything else. So, yeah, so... Anyway, the, the straight map, it, it's gone through some adjustments since the, uh, since the last, you know, in the last year. Uh, the B cap now has a couple islands to the north, for instance, that, uh, you know, like, allow it to play, you know, a bit better. <clears throat> so, yeah, the, yeah it, it's just been some adjustments now. Now, for, as for air, anything else that's changed, there's obviously, you know, the aircraft carriers that are in this game as well are also ve are also still the uh, the old models, the uh, the old bow, the old Zwiho. But yeah, I'm now going to be sailing back toward B. B is just you know it, it hasn't been capped yet, so I'm just gonna try and you know, kill whatever's there. I'm on four kills at the moment, so. I wanted to try and get the Kraken, and evidently I didn't think that this would have even been on the table, but <clears throat> but this game I would I would have had a chance to try and go for uh, tying my record in kills. My record in kills is actually only seven, but yeah, I didn't manage to kill that Wyoming, which actually kind of sucks. But yeah, I'm going to be going into B, and I'm going to have to deal with this uh, furry taco here coming into the cap. But, yes. Four kills, though, only 55,000 damage. That's that's kind of the, the story with the uh, T-22 as a whole. Like, uh, the thing can be very, very dangerous, but its weapon systems aren't really too damaging. So, blind fire torpedoes out at this uh, Tier 5 Japanese cruiser here gonna dip into the cap and as soon as he crosses within detection range it right there 6.1 I'm going to fix and start firing at him so yes this guy's on very very low health though so these torpedoes are really kind of a you know, surpro you know, like unnecessary thing just you know if if they hit them cool but you know they didn't so i just smoked up and i'm now gunning him down it has he had 138 damage with uh an i think you shell or no 
Actually, it wasn't that itchy. It was just normal itchy. But, yes, uh, all of that and finally dropped the Kraken. So, this, what you're about to see here, is actually a good example of what the T-22 is good at. It's a nice stealth torpedo boat. This thing can hit targets at up to 7.5 kilometers away, I believe is its torpedo range, and its detectability is only 6.1. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, look for this shot here on this, I believe it's an enemy Koenig. Again, I'm watching this in just the Adobe Premiere's uh, you know, preview screen, so I'm not entirely sure. So I might end up making like a jingles mistake where I misidentify a ship. You know, forget me. So I pop some torpedoes off of that guy. Uh, one, I believe, directly along the aim indicator, and then you know, another one, not so much. So just creating a nice little spread that he ends up turning straight into. Yep. See ya. So two torpedo. It, it took two torpedo hits to sink that guy. So yeah, T twenty two is not the uh, the most damaging ship out there. And now there's only the one enemy battleship, a Congo, remaining. And uh, this uh, this pillow guy here in chat uh, is all like, uh, "Hey, anybody for damage totals?" So I'm just like. I end up typing in just like, eh, I only got like 67, 68k, but got six kills. So, yeah. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> so, yeah. That's, uh, that's me with the fun T22. Now, this right here, this very last bit of the game is where I kind of fuck up. Again, I, I always have a thing for fucking up at the very end of the game. I don't die this time like I did with uh, that Richelieu replay that I uploaded, which really the best thing about that uh, that replay and commentary was honestly the thumbnail with the Cardinal Richelieu gradient. But yeah, launch both sets of torpedoes, miss. Had I would have landed torpedoes and floods, I might have had a chance for the seventh kill. Instead, I'm just stuck here with my smoke screen going and just daka daka this Congo, you know, the best I can. But, like, I'm getting 198 damage per, like, just hit with my high explosive. And, you know, this guy's sailing into into a, into a friendly Koenig and a friendly Wyoming. It's, yeah. So, I really didn't have a chance of getting that kill before the uh, enemy battleship, uh, friendly battleships finished him off. But, hey, six kills, top of the team, that's still a pretty good showing for this year-old battle. So, yeah, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.